Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien, ¿y tú? Bien, muy bien. bien. So, I don't know about you guys, but now whenever I hear Vaya con Dios, I am really going to question it. What oh, are, my God, what Vaya con Dios is in that movie. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. You and that bird. I know. I had a brief relationship with the bird in this film. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, with the woman who owned the bird, even slightly more brief. Um, yeah. What a beautiful yeah. That that. sequence is wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Another Jim. another brilliantly written scene by Mr. James Rowe. Yeah. B she has somewhere to go, right? Somewhere to be. That's right. That's right. I think can I uh, can I share this when we were shooting that scene that the bird's a train bird supposed to come back. It lands on the hood of the car, if we recall that. Um and then it flies away. Well, guess what? It flew away and then launched up into a tree and they had to spend the night out there trying to get it down. So um yeah. It did come down in the end. They got their bird, but I think it took a whole day. <laughs> 24 hours later. <laughs> Alyssa, you get to play a really strong woman. I love that. Yeah. She's not, not moment is she afraid or stepping down? She's like owning it and I got to do what I got to do. Can you talk about her character? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think Eve has built that over time. I don't think that she was always this strong woman. I think that life and those experiences that she went through um, prior to what we see uh, created that. Um, playing that character was really interesting because there was a lot of moments where um, I would just be looking at Dermot or Darren in their eyes and so connected and I would just want to cry. And so um, a lot of time it was, how do I pull that back? And I feel like James was, uh, th there was a safe enough environment on set where he was also able to give his input and, and help rein some of that in. Um, and, and yeah, yeah, it, she, she, was, she was probably one of the strongest characters I've played to date. And I loved being Eve. Now, lots of action scenes and in very tight spaces. How do you shoot on a boat? Dark. Yeah, it's real tough, but I think that's the beauty of getting to actually shoot on a real boat as, to, as opposed to something built in a studio. So we really have to live through this thing, you know, and that helps come out in the... Uh, in the portrayal through our characters, which is awesome. But getting to battle Ray there underwater, on the boat, above ground, underground, whatever, it was a blast. Incredible. You got a picture of our cameraman cinematographer too. He's about six four. So we're inside that that cabin with Eve and her daughter and me with the tiniest bit of the crew, but one of them is like a really big guy. So um, it, that really tight spaces and really challenging, even trying to get angles around the ropes and the mast and all that gives it that incredible feel. Um, but none of shooting that was easy. We all just gave it our all and knew that the goal was what it was about. Um, and it, frankly, the way they crafted cutting some of the underwater sequence uh to an actual fight on the boat in conditions all wet at night wow um really intense uh filming experience it brought us really close as a cast we'll never forget it now Deron, what is it like i know sometimes when you're playing a villain it's no secret based on the trailer no so a lot of times uh, you're looking as an actor, sometimes from what I hear, a justification for its actions. Did you find any in this character as Ray? Oh, I never had any trouble justifying Ray's behavior. In my mind, it felt so real and organic in that he just stewed in his juice for so long. He found a vulnerable person inside. He dated out their get out. He planned out a thing so he could be out. He's just bound and determined to find that young woman um and he uh and he manages to do all that gosh i almost never stopped to consider whether he you know he was right or wrong i i think it was just you know he was just wrong you know there was never any real debate about it but his commitment each of us did this i think it's just a trick of the script you, we, we all but only because I've heard we've talked about it a lot, um, but um, we all just inhabited these characters. So I wasn't questioning him. 
I know, Alyssa, you, you just as much said something like that, um, where that process of how you justify your character's behavior. I didn't even go into it with this. I just went at it. You know, of course, it's all from love yeah, and grief I, I, and revenge yeah, and all those it. other things, but yeah. true, true stuff. So what's the question? Yeah, yeah I had someone say, you know, uh, I watched the trailer and it, it looks like your character might be the bad person. I was like, you know, interesting enough, I don't think we were all so committed to what was in front of us and what we were getting ready to play that um, I don't think that throughout the entire process of filming that I even questioned that she could have been in the wrong. You know, not until I was hit with certain lines, like um, when I said, you brought the devil right to my doorstep. And then uh, Debbie says, the, the devil doesn't come for the innocent. In that moment, I was like, oh, OK, you know. That gives me <laughs> the chills he... hearing you say that. Yeah. And then as I'm, you know, it, so it was kind of unfolding. Um, it's kind of unfolding for me as, as we shot it. Now, Darren, you got to be spent a little more time underwater. I did. So how was that experience besides being super cold? Oh, you know, the cold was fine, actually. It was a very pleasurable temperature. The hard part was there was a lot of chlorine in that water. <laughs> and it, was, it was brilliant the way they shot it. So D Darren means we did some of that in a, in a pool. It was the diving pool at a university in Wilmington. So it was super deep, and they... And, and then they did incredible technical things to make it uh, what you see. Um, but yes, I remember that too, man. That that was a highly chlorinated. It's like, ah. Um, yeah, but at the same time, it was something I'd never got to do before. And getting to do new stuff, I mean, that's what it's all about. So it was a blast getting the opportunity to shoot such a really cool fight scene underwater. It's not something you see very often. And we have a wicked one in this movie. Incredible. But I will say next time I come across a script that says, and then they fight that underwater. I've done that. I, I've already checked that off of my list. <laughs> so I might not do it again, James Rowe. <laughs> um, but seriously, by the time we get to that part in the script, you're so hooked to play these characters that it almost didn't occur to me how physically grueling, like maxed out air every take. Uh, how that would actually play out. So the only thing I'll say is I'll never forget it. I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else but Darren Mann. And uh, he more than, um, he was the hero in that water for me that day. And several several times he knows what I mean. So honestly, that's as deep as it can go between guys. And I feel you, Darren. Thank you so much for those uh, for those days um, shooting with oh, you that way. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciated this conversation. And um, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Thank you so much for helping people see breakwater. You're welcome. Thank you. And I hope to see you at some of my best friend's wedding. Just saying. Yes, right. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> Vaya con Dios.